Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equals to e power x cos 2x. Firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree is 1. Highest power of the highest derivative is a degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y minus 5 dy plus 6 y equals to e power x into cos 2x. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Now we can write our equation as d square y by dx square. Minus 5 into dy by dx plus 6 into y equals to e power x into cos 2x. Here, d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So, our order will be 2 and highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now, coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equals to e power x into cos 2x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 5d plus 6 and q equals to e power x into cos 2x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here, yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find complementary function using the roots of the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting r x to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we will find y by using 1 by f of d into q. Right? So, firstly, let's find roots to write the complementary function. Later, we will find y p. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d square minus 5d plus 6 let's replace d by m so that we will get f of m equals to m square minus 5m plus 6 then our auxiliary equation becomes m squared minus 5m plus 6 equals to 0. Now split minus 5m as minus 2m minus 3m. Now take m common from the first two terms we will get m times m minus 2 and take minus 3 common from the next two terms we will get minus 3 times m minus 2 equals to 0. If you notice, you are having m minus 2 in both the terms. So, let's, let's take m minus 2 common. We will get m minus 2 into m minus 3 equals to 0. Now, equate each factor to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2. And from m minus 3 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 3, right? Then the roots are m equals to 2 and 3, which are real and distinct. So, m equals to 2 and 3 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to 2, 3 are the roots of our auxiliary equation, which are real and distinct. You can also call them as real and different. We know that 
if M2 roots say M1 and M2 are real and distinct, then YC looks like one constant into e power 1 root into X plus another constant into e power another root into X. Now let's write the complementary solution. Sorry, complementary function. Y C equals to C1 e power 2x plus C2 e power 3x. So these are required for Yc. Now let's find Yp. Particular integral. We'll find particular integrals using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d and q, right? f of d is d square minus 5d plus 6 and q is e power x cos 2x. So this is all 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form. We can shift e power ax towards left by replacing d with d plus a. And later we'll operate V with 1 by F of D plus A. So find D plus A, D plus a here. Compare E power X with E power AX and A equals to 1. Then for A equals to 1 we'll find D plus A which is D plus 1. Shift E power X towards left by replacing D with D plus 1. We'll get D plus 1 whole square minus 5 into D plus 1 plus 6 into cos. 2x is equals to e power x into 1 by expansion of d plus 1 whole square. Use the expansion of a plus b whole square. d square plus 1 plus 2d. Minus 5 into d is minus 5d. Minus into plus minus 5 into y. 5 into 1 is 5 plus 6 into cos 2x which is equals to e power x into 1 by d square. Minus 5D plus 2D is minus 3D. Plus 1 plus 6 is plus 7. Minus 5 into cos 2X. Right? This becomes e power X into 1 by D square minus 3D plus 7 minus 5 is 2 into cos 2x. Now we are having yp equals to e power x into 1 by some function of d into cos 2x. Now we need to apply 1 by g of d. g of d in the sense some function of d into some cos bx procedure. Okay. So for b equals to 2, we will find d square which is given by minus b square which is equals to minus 2 square equals to minus 4, right? And also we have named this uh, this function as g of d, right? Let's take g of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2, right? Now, replace d square by minus 4 and see what happens to the denominator. Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. If we get the denominator zero, we'll get the total term un under brackets like this, right? We know that 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So the denominator must be non-zero. Now let's replace d squared by minus 4. We'll get minus 4 minus 3d plus 2 equals to minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 minus 3d which is non-zero since by replacing d squared by minus 4 the denominator is non-zero so we can take to replace d square in the denominator replace d square by minus 4 then we'll get e power x into 1 by minus 4 minus 3d plus 2 into cos 2x which is equals to e power x into 1 by minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 minus 3d into cos 2x. Now take minus common from the denominator. We'll get 1 by minus into or minus 1 into 2 plus 3d. 
into cos 2x, right, is equals to e power x into minus 1 into 1 by 2 plus 3d into cos 2x. This becomes e power x into minus 1 is minus e power x into 1 by 2 plus 3d. So here we are having 1 by 2 plus 3d, right? In the denominator we are having 2 plus 3d. Just change this, this plus to minus, we will get 2 minus 3d. I multiply and divide 2 minus 3d to this fraction into cos 2x is equals to minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by 2 plus 3d into 2 minus 3d into cos 2x is equals to minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by the denominator is of a plus b into a minus b form so we can write it as a square minus b square into cos 2x is equals to minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by 2 square is 4 minus 3d whole square is 9d square into cos 2x. Again d square appears in the denominator. We should always remember that denominator must be non-zero. So take the denominator part and replace d square by minus 4 and see what we'll get. And goes at 36 equals to 40, which is non-zero. Since by replacing d square, we get non-zero term in the denominator. So what we'll do here, we'll just replace d square by minus 4. Since we got non-zero term by replacing d square with minus 4 in the denominator, so we can just dare to replace d square by minus 4 in the denominator. Then yp becomes minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by 4 minus 9 into replace d square by minus 4 into cos 2x is equals to minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by 4 plus 36 into cos 2x which is equals to minus e power x into 2 minus 3d by 4 plus 36 is 40 into cos 2x. Now let's split the fraction as 1 by 40 into 2 minus 3d into cos 2x. This becomes minus e power x by 40 into 2 cos 2x minus 3d cos 2x. We know that d is a differential operator. Since d equals to d by dx, then we can write it as minus e power x by 40 into 2 cos 2x minus 3 into d by dx or cos 2x. Now let's find the derivative of cos 2x with respect to x here. Derivative of cos 2x is minus 2 sin 2x is equals to minus e power x by 40 into 2 cos 2x minus into minus plus 3 to the 6 cos 2x. Now let's take two common from the two terms under brackets. We'll get minus e power x by 40 into 2 times cos 2x plus 3. This is sine, right? Not cos, I'm sorry. Sine 2x, right? 2 ones are 2 twenties are. Therefore, yp equals to minus e power x by 20 into cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x. We got yc and yp, so let's write the general solution. 
the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 equal to x plus c2 equal to 3x plus yp is minus e power x by 20 into cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.